Hello everyone, uh, today I'm going to be unboxing the S24 Ultra. Uh, so I have the S23 Ultra here. I'm going to be unboxing the S24 Ultra. I'm, gonna be, I'm going to be running Yuzu on it to see if it runs Skyrim. Uh, the S23 Ultra runs Skyrim, but the FPS is really low. So I want to see if the Gen, if the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 has a better performance in terms of gaming. But here we go. Uh, I bought the Galaxy Watch 6 Classics with it. And this is the new phone. Let's start unboxing it. So yeah, I'm gonna open the box. Here's the phone, I'm not sure what it comes with, but it comes with uh, some card insertion, some sheet of paper for notes, and let's see the phone, it's really nice, it's blue, it's, it's, I don't know what they call it, but it's titanium blue, and the, the feel is really cool, it's all metal, so, yeah, looks perfect, looks really good. So here's everything I have, and I'm gonna try to power, power it on and see what will happen. Yeah, the power's on. I love the new cameras. It's the same old camera, 200 megapixel, but they say it's higher quality and it has all the AI functionalities. So, uh, scan the QR code. It should be transferring all of everything from this device to this device. So once the transformations happens and everything, I'm just gonna speed through this part of the video, but uh, once the transformation happens, then I will try and get Skyrim running on both devices and see what the FPS difference is between both devices. Because I'm, I'm feeling like the Snapdragon Gen 8, Gen, like the Gen 3, Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, it's gonna be better performance, but I don't think it's gonna be that big of a difference. We'll see what happens once everything is set up. So it's still transferring files, but I forgot to, I didn't see the USB-C cable that was included in the box. Here it is. It's just a normal USB-C. Every other box has USB-C. Hello guys, I'm back. I just finished setting up the both devices. It took me like a whole overnight just to do both and so what I'm doing is I, I opened Yuzu on both devices and I'm gonna go to setting, system setting for both devices. I'm going to limit, remove the limit speed. I'm using for the graphic the same configuration, nearest neighbor, nearest neighbor. You can see everything is the same. Uh, and for the GPU, I'm using the same drivers uh, maybe a bit different, but yeah, the same drivers. Uh, where's the drivers for the GPU? I can't find it. I just was just doing it right here, here. GPU drivers. Yeah, yeah. I tried the Turnip 14, but it doesn't work. So you have to find a revision 17 v2 somewhere. I don't know. Oh, that's illegal. Illegal. I don't know. It's just a driver. So I'm just gonna press the Elder Scroll on both devices, see which one boots up faster. And so you can see the S23, the S24 Ultra just did it right away. Uh, the S24 is, is going to 150 something, 60. It's just the beginning. Both crashed. <laughs> uh, the whole software crashed here. The, oops. The, Let's try it again. So this time it booted 
on the S24 Ultra, S23 Ultra, I'm gonna try. So I already connected my PS5 control to the S24 Ultra. But I'm just gonna try to continue. I started playing on it and it was never going down 30 FPS during my whole play game. My whole game, gaming session. So, yeah. Uh, so you can see it's 30 FPS over here. It's 26, ranging between 26 to 30 FPS is over here. And yeah, I don't know if I'm starting from zero over here on this device, but if I'm starting from zero, then I'm gonna just do all the whole like beginning and then come back. But I don't think it's gonna work. It's working with the same configuration because you can see the FPS is zero, zero, which means that the whole the whole game is not booting but you can see here on the s24 ultra yeah it crashed again the s24 ultra is 30 fps it's it's just 30 fps it's giving me 30 fps not going down not going up no matter what i do uh, i had some issues with the shader where it would when there is lighting it would flash black and white uh, i think that's an issue with the game too though i don't think it's an issue with the driver but you can see i'm playing it's it's working really nice and i can like it's moving 30 fps i don't know how much you're getting on this on the on any of the consoles the 30 fps on my s24 ultra for skyrim it's really cool i'm gonna try to see if this gonna set if this is if this would be able if i would be able to set this up with the same driver and come back to you guys see you so yeah, hello guys, I'm back. This, this, the S23 Ultra is starting up. The S24 Ultra, which is the one you guys wanna see. It's playing really nicely. Like it's, like I can do everything and it's super responsive. Well, if I can play. <laughs> but yeah, you can see it. It's, let me let you guys enjoy the gameplay. But yeah, jumping. It's like playing on a console, like a gaming console. You can see on the S23 Ultra, it's stuttering. It's having some difficulties. The frame rate is 21, 24 at best. It can go up to 30, but depending on the play, play, on the play time, it's it's not that good. Once the play game, once the play time starts, uh, like once his head is cut off and the whatever comes in. Uh, it will not his head i, I don't want to spoil stuff but yeah once the game starts it will start stuttering and with the same setting that i have on for the s24 ultra i tried high resolution for s24 ultra it also had some difficulties but heating issues is the main issue i think once you play for a long period of time it starts heating, the phone starts heating up but yeah that's a bad thing about it but yeah you can see You can see that the shading is happening in the background, but yeah, I mean, you know, what, what, what more can you expect from an Android phone that's not meant for gameplay with the, like, it's not a gaming console, it's a S24 Ultra, but you can make it into a gaming console if you want to. Keep your voice down, I'm fine, but we should go inside to talk. What's going on? Uh, this is this. You should go to Solitude and join up with the Imperial Legion. Hmm. See. This one is stuck in the same setting. I didn't do anything to it, it just froze on itself. The S24 Ultra is still playing. Uh, hopefully it's not stuck too. Well, it is stuck. Huh, that's weird. Okay, it was playing really nicely, but now once you get options to talk to people, it's also stuck. Uh, so I'm gonna turn off the S23 Ultra since you guys have seen like the setting not working, and I'm gonna try to see what, what's going on with S24 Ultra. Let's see if I exit emulation, go back to emulation. I'm gonna sit down, you know, just enjoy some gameplay.
Yeah, I guess. Some gameplay. Let's start the game again. Continue. Oh, don't think guys you can see this, but we'll see. That's the issue, it's not a gaming console, it's an Android phone, and it's, it's, an iPhone can't do this, an iPhone cannot do this, and it's really cool that we can play Skyrim on the S24 Ultra again, like, not again, but, now, so this one, I want to go back to the same old, to the first part where we got stuck, what was in before. Let's go back, it's not here. Yeah, I think it's a heating issue. Once you get a lot of NBCs in the game, it, it will crash on you. Uh, so yeah, it's. I think it's either the emulation software or the phone hardware is not up to date with what you need for to play Skyrim. Like the phone is not heating, to be honest. Like I can, I can feel the phone, it's not heating. It's, the heat is not bad at all. It's just once you get a lot of player, a lot of NPCs in the game, and you get all those interactions, asking you questions. That's when it starts freezing on you. So, I guess what I need to do is lower either the resolution. Maybe do it at fifty. Uh, Zero point five percent of the screen resolution. I don't think it's a resolution area. I think more it's a hardware issue. But we'll see what happens. Let's advanced setting system. Well, I think when, when I used to open the speed, it will crash immediately. It wouldn't even let you play. So 0 0.5, that's the lowest resolution that you can go to in terms of graphics. And GBU, it's still running the same setting. So now, play. Auto school, Skyrim. Okay, hopefully, please get this time. So yeah, hopefully. Hmm. Thought <laughs> oh, that's an issue there, but it's not. Yeah, I don't know. Fifty FPS. That's the lowest I can go. I mean, not 50 FPS, 50% 50, 50, 50 resolution, which is low, but I mean, if it, if it works, then why not? So you can see the gameplay is 30 FPS and it's not going down at all. But once you get a lot of interaction between people, that's why it decides to uh, just get stuck. So let's go down there, back to where we were freezing up. Talk to him. Go to solitude and join up. So yeah. did I. If the damn storm cloak somehow found one or woke it up. Yeah, so it's wor it works. It works. And the FPS is not going less than like it, it is going. It's going. I don't know if you guys can see the FPS, but it's going to like 25 and it's coming back up to 30. And it's better than nothing. I know today wasn't the best introduction to the Legion. So now I can run Skyrim the whole time on my phone. 
and it's not being charged, so it's not connected to power. It's just running out of off of battery. I know some of the uh, gaming console, like hand gaming consoles, if you don't plug it into the power adapter, then it will have lower resolution. But maybe if I plug in, plug it into the, maybe let's try. If I plug it into power cord and turn off the resolution back to. 32 to 0 0.75 will work. I don't know. We'll see. Let's try. Save my life. Uh, no. Come on, I'll explain everything, but we it just happened. Go inside. Oh. We better keep moving. Did he get stuck? Okay, like no, I got stuck. Okay. So uh, you get to something to eat. And you can tell me all about it. Okay, I'm gonna save it until here. I'm gonna save it and see what happens. So save. Save. I just saved it. I'm just gonna exit the game. Exit the emulation. And I'm gonna plug it into the power adapter. Flip it around. Plug it to the power cord. And see if I can put the setting back to 0 0.75. No, I won't limit speed because otherwise it would crash. So 0 0.75. Driver, everything is set. Oh, that's cool. Let's run it and see what happens. It's connected to the power adapter. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. I want to see if I interact with people with this, if it would give me a better performance or not. Hmm. Yeah, you start seeing some shading, some shader issues, because it cannot handle the the resolution. But. It looks really nice to be honest. Let's talk to someone. Let's talk to her. It wasn't. Come, come. I haven't got all day. I can't. What? Yes. Talk. Oh, she can't talk. Oh, that's why. Yeah. She doesn't. She's. Uh, she's not an NPC that talks. Oh, forgot. So we're in his house. Talk to him. General Tullius has his headquarters in Castle Dower. So yeah, if you plug it into the, the like, to the power cord, I think it doesn't shut off on its own anymore. I think the resolution issue, it's consuming a lot of the the, 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 the power. When we will raise it up. I don't know if this is, a, if this is an issue. I'm just making assumptions and theories. No, it crashed. So yeah, it cannot run more than 50%. It crashed, yeah. I think it could be a heating issue. Yeah, it could be a heating issue. It heats up so much that it crashes. Maybe, maybe not, I don't know. But yeah, there we go. We went from like, yeah, I know what is going on to, I have no idea. Is this gonna run? Never ran before. And it's never gonna run. No. Okay, guys. Uh, that was it. That was about it. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.